Scott Simpson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's a pleasure to take a short call on this uh, Huranui Kaikoura Earthquakes Emergency Relief uh, Bill. But uh, before I commence my comments, sir, I'd just like to acknowledge the uh, contribution of the previous speaker and also uh, my friend and colleague Stuart Smith, the local Member of Parliament, for the work that he and uh, they both are doing on behalf of their constituents in uh, a time of exceptional um, circumstance in a time when actually uh, exceptional responses are required. So it's been uh, just on a fortnight since the 7.8 uh, magnitude earthquake hit. And in that time, uh, the government and this parliament has responded promptly, quickly, and with uh, great urgency to the situation that is now um, one of uh, recovery. But sir, during that period of time, um, it became very clear, uh, uh, and one of the learnings we learnt from uh, the disaster in Canterbury and Christchurch five or more years ago was that it was really important to get communities and businesses up and running and on their feet again absolutely as soon as possible. And so for some of the uh, farmers, some of the people involved in horticulture and other businesses uh, in the area, they've had to make some on-the-spot on the ground, uh, urgent, prompt decisions that may have taken them outside the realms of existing legislation. So what this bill seeks to do, sir, is actually to put right some of those things in terms of their legal responsibilities, and it's legislation that means that in a sensible and realistic manner, uh, property owners, businesses and uh, farmers and the like will be able to, and have already done, some emergency work uh, in order to allow access, to facilitate uh, the flow of water, to ensure that uh, sewerage and uh, effluent is being uh, uh, properly uh, managed and treated. Uh, they've had to take some uh, measures to uh, make sure that that happens. So this bill, sir, essentially does three things. It uh, provides a temporary increase in the time frames with regard to retrospective consents for emergency works undertaken under the Resource Management Act, and that's uh, right and appropriate given the situation that uh, we find ourselves in. Secondly, this bill proposes that uh, emergency works to farm properties become permitted activities through until the end of March next year, and that also seems to be an appropriate and uh, sensible time frame. And thirdly, sir, this bill allows for work to be commenced on the restoration of Kaikoura's harbours. Sir, if um, Kaikoura is to thrive again and thrive again quickly, then access to the sea is essential. I noted just this afternoon, sir, that uh, the Environment Canterbury Chair, David Bedford, has said, and I quote, that uh, he was pleased that the government has acted quickly and decisively, that this legislation will enable a pragmatic approach to rebuilding the communities as quickly and as efficiently as possible, and that, thirdly, many of the provisions that have been introduced in this legislation are a direct result of the learnings that uh, have taken place after the Christchurch earthquakes. So in a slightly unusual um, uh, situation, this bill will be referred to the Local Government Environment Select Committee for a day. We'll uh, sit tomorrow to go through it in more detail, and I'm looking forward to working, as we always do on the committee, collaboratively with members across the House uh, to ensure that this uh, bill and this legislation is scrutinised with care, albeit in a quick way. Uh, I uh, commend the bill to the House.